Hey everybody, so I just wanted to come on and do a quick video about something that I have been doing a lot lately and it's sanitizing your makeup. Now lately I have been on MakeupAlley.com which is an amazing website and I've been swapping with a lot of makeup and most of the makeup that I get is used but you can sanitize it so you can still use it, especially if it's like a powder form like a blush or something, a solid powder. You can sanitize it really easily and it's a great way to get makeup without buying, you know, without having to spend a lot of money and just swap for stuff that you don't want anymore. So, <laughs> super fast intro, I'm going to show you how I sanitize my makeup. Now, I know that there are a lot of brands of makeup sanitizers out there that you can get. I was researching them when I started swapping, and I was like, I really don't want to spend $13 for a bottle of basically alcohol. That's pretty much all it is, is rubbing alcohol. It might have some extra things in it to make it smell nicer, or to make it look prettier, but it's rubbing alcohol because that's what's going to really sanitize your makeup. So, I went to CVS and I got this bottle. It was actually $3, which is really expensive. You can get these at Walmart for $0.98. Cents. So I recommend going to Walmart, but I was desperate and I could only get to CVS that day. So, that's what I got. And as you see, I did mark this <laughs> very clearly that it is alcohol, rubbing alcohol. Because you don't want to, especially if you have other spray bottles, you don't want to confuse it and accidentally spray this on your face or something. So, I would recommend labeling it just with a Sharpie or whatever. So I got this, which you can get at Walmart for 98 cents, super cheap. You can get small ones, big ones, whatever. And then I just got some rubbing alcohol, which you can get at any drugstore, Walmart, grocery store, basically anywhere, and it's around $2. Super cheap, so this whole thing costs about under $3, and that's all you need. So what I do, this is a blush that I got today in the mail that I swapped for, it's a hard candy. It's Living Doll. I'm super excited to try this. I've wanted this for a really long time. So that's what it looks like if you're curious. So all I do is I'm going to try to like position myself so I don't spray it on my computer because that would be really bad. All I do is I just hold it. Try again. Okay, there we go. I hold it, you know, nice, a good foot, foot and a half. And I just keep misting it until it gets pretty soaked. Don't worry, this will not ruin your makeup. I was like, oh my gosh, it's going to ruin my makeup. It doesn't. It goes on, it sanitizes it, and it evaporates without harming your makeup at all. So as if you can see, it's pretty soaked. And then I just let this sit open like this in my bathroom for about 10-15 minutes. And it's completely dry, completely sanitized, completely safe to use. But I just make sure that I really like to soak it. Another thing that I like to do is actually, either before or after I do this, this is an extra step and I just do it because I'm kind of a germaphobe, is I take just... Um, a tissue or a napkin and I just wipe off the top layer of it that just is sort of an extra step you can take you can do that or not but I definitely recommend using the alcohol and it's actually already it's almost dry you just kind of fan it it's like almost dry and as you can see I just picked it up it's perfectly fine it doesn't harm it at all so I'll do it one more time just to show you guys again Ooh, I just dropped it um, this is something else that I got this is the Comfort Zone palette. I'm so excited about this. I've been wanting it for so long. Again, I'm just going to hold it at a nice distance. And <laughs> you can't really see, but I'm just spraying it a couple times. Hold the lid up a little bit. Just make sure you can really saturate it. And it's not going to do anything. It's not going to do any harm. I just got some of it on my arm. I got some of it on the wall. It will just evaporate. Since it's rubbing alcohol, it just evaporates super quickly. And as you can see, that's very wet. It's wet up here. You can just wipe that off or it will evaporate. And it's already starting to dry. It dries really quickly. I just let it sit for 5 or 10, 15 minutes in my bathroom or wherever. And you have very nice, clean, sanitized makeup. I also recommend doing this if, um, <coughs> sorry, I'm like coughing and stuff a lot. If you have, um, maybe you've been having a lot of breakouts on your skin. It's a good idea if you've been using like a powder or a blush to kind of sanitize it every once in a while just because, you know, you're thinking your makeup brush touches your face which has maybe some zits on it or some kind of gross stuff sometimes and then it touches the powder and it goes back and forth. It can get contaminated which can make you break out even more. So just, if you notice that you're breaking out a lot or if you have a cut on your face or something, I would recommend sanitizing your makeup. Also, to sanitize lipstick, um, a really easy way to do it is just say this lipstick, just take your lipstick and put a little bit of your rubbing alcohol and put it in the cap of the rubbing alcohol bottle or you can put it in like in a disposable cup and just say, I'm holding a cup right now, just dip it down in and just kind of, you know, swirl it around a little bit for a couple seconds, bring it out 
and just kind of hold it until it drip dries or lay it down on something until it's completely dry and that will sanitize it also. And if you want to sanitize um, like pencil liners or lip liners, you can sharpen it and then dip it in the alcohol and that will really sanitize it. So that is how I sanitize my makeup when I swap or like I said just when I'm starting to break out a lot or if I've cut my face or I've been sick. It's a really good idea to sanitize your makeup every once in a while so you don't keep getting germs from your brush to the makeup to your face and all over again. So that was my really quick tip on how to sanitize makeup. If you guys have your own way of doing it, please let me know. I would love to find out some more ways and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!